Hello everyone, welcome back to Amin Maths Club. So our question is 3 raised to the power 18 minus 3 raised to the power 15. So we have to simplify this. So first of all, we can write here that 3 raised to the power 18 can be written as, if we factorize this 18, then we can write 15 plus 3, which is also equal to 18, and minus 3 raised to the power 15. So now using uh, exponential law, as we know that if we have a raised to the power m, plus n which is equal to a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n so now this step will become that 3 raised to the power 15 times 3 raised to the power 3 minus 3 raised to the power 15 so now we see that 3 raised to the power 15 is common so we are going to take common 3 raised to the power 15 then dividing by this then we get only 3 raised to the power 3 and here we get only 1 so now here 3 raised to the power 3 can be written as 3 raised to the power 15 it is equal to 27 so 27 minus 1 and then 3 raised to the power 15 times 27 minus 1 is equal to 26 so here we can write 3 raised to the power 15 like 3 raised to the power 3 times 5 3 times 5 is equal to 15 and times 26 so as we know that by exponential law if we have a raised to the power m times n then we can write it a raised to the power m or power n so using this formula here then we get 3 raised to power 3 whole power 5 time 26 so now 3 raised to the power 3 is equal to 27 and whole power 5 can be written as that 4 plus 1 so 4 plus 1 is also equal to 5 so times 26 now that 27 again using um, that uh, exponential law then we get 27 raised to the power 4 times 27 raised to the power 1 so times 26 now 27 raised to power 4 can be written as 27 that 4 is 2 times 2 which is equal to 4 times 27 times 26 so here that 27 2 times 2 which can be written as 27 square whole square using again exponential law as we have used um, previously so times 27 times 26 so calculator is not allowed here so we are going to write by using uh, exponential laws now 27 square as we know that it is equal to 729 whole square times 27 times 26 now 729 can be written as that 700 plus 29 whole square and times 27 and times 26 so now using uh, that exponential law as we know that if we have a plus b whole square uh, that sorry it is uh, algebraic law a plus b whole square which is uh, equal to a square plus 2 times a times b plus b square so it is our algebraic formula which is basic formula now using here then we get 700 square plus 2 times 700 times here is 29 and plus 29 square so times 27 and times 26 now we can write here that expanding this formula we get that uh, 700 square is 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros and 7 7 are 49. So here we can write that 29 times 2 is 58 times 700 plus that uh, we know that 29 square is equal to 841 times 27 and times 26. So now that 49 1 2 3 4 zeros and now multiplying this then we get 0 and 0 so 7 multiply by add then we get 56 6 5 carry 7 5 is 35 plus 5 which is equal to 40 so plus 841 
times 27 times 26 is equal to 702 now here we can write it like just adding these three terms then we get here one and then four and then again four and one and three and five so 53 one four four one times it is seven zero two now five three one four four one times seven hundred and two can be written as seven hundred plus two so seven hundred plus two we are going to multiply this five three one four four one that multiply by this seven hundred times seven hundred plus now five three one four four one times this two so here by multiplying this then we get here just putting two zeros so multiplying seven uh, one is seven and eight so here zero and again putting zero and two seven and then three so thirty seven two zero zero at seven zero zero so plus multiplying this then we get two and add again add and then two so six zero and one now adding these two terms then we get then we get two and add again five one seven zero three and seven three so three seven three zero seven one five eight two so it is our final answer that we have just simplified this problem so without using calculator so now we are going to check our solution that is step by step we can check our solution so hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting videos that's it for today thanks for watching goodbye